What is up, y'all? Rick here again with another episode of Rick and Kate's Hobby Time. So this one here, I had to redo the top of my workbench, and I figured we could put the logo in it. So we're going to trace it, and then I'm going to fill it, carve it out with my router, and we're going to fill it with resin. See what happens. See if I don't mess it up this time. Let's get to it, y'all. So the last time I tried to do this, I had it almost perfect, and then I had the idea that I wanted it backlit. And when I was trying to thin out the plywood to get to where I had carved the um, resin logo, I made an oopsie and created a giant hole. So I figured we could redo it and Hopefully this time it goes better. Um, yeah, hopefully y'all will want to follow along with me. So first things first, we got to trace the logo and everything. Um, I have done some preemptive steps. I've already gone through and put a seal coat on here. Because uh, last time when I was doing that one, I noticed that I was digging into the wood. You can kind of see there's some wavy spots around the, the resin. Um, also, last time I used a five minute epoxy so that I could do all the steps relatively quickly. We're not going to do that this time. I've got actual relatively slow setting resin. It takes about 24 hours to fully cure. So, a lot of this will probably be time lapse of me doing the drying and the, and the carving. Um, I'll probably have the kids come out and help me a little bit. And hopefully y'all like it and want to follow along. Let's get to it, y'all.
All right, so, so that's going to conclude this video. Um, but I wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek on how it's going. Um, so this is the way it looked after the resin cured that Haley and I poured last night. Um, after it was sitting here for a few minutes, I did spray some of the black that I was using to tint it, um, keeping it RC, Mia Paints. That's what I've been using for all the tinting. Um, so I did spray some black on there and kind of swirl it around to get it in the lines that I carved because it wasn't quite looking right. Um, so that's what this is. And then today I scraped off the hot glue and ground it down and sanded it down. So it's going to look great. Um, this whole top has got to get sanded. You can see there's some high spots. Um, I still got a epoxy the sides and back because there's still just wood at the moment but i'll probably do that when i do the whole top coat but that'll be in the next video hopefully y'all like this i'm stoked about how this is coming out like subscribe share comment all that stuff and uh thanks for watching y'all